Welcome back to Cryptorama. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can set a limit order using Coinbase.com. So there's two different ways you can purchase crypto on the site. You can set a market order or a limit order. A market order is going to purchase at the current price, whereas with the limit order, you can actually set the parameters that you want and then the order will execute automatically when those conditions are met. So when you first come to the trade tab here on Coinbase, you're going to see the ability to order or set a market order rather. But if you click on the advanced tab here in the upper right, you're going to be able to set what's known as the limit order. So you're first going to set a pair that you want to trade. I'm going to do ADA USD because I've already loaded USD onto the site. With a typical market order, you can purchase using your debit card or your bank account. But with a limit order, you're going to need to provide the other side of that trading pair. So as you see over here on the right hand side, we can see the current limit price and we can change that or we could set it by the amount of ADA that we want to buy or what have you. I'm going to set the limit price that I want to buy at to 30 cents per ADA and I'm going to spend 200 USD and that'll tell me here in the amount box how much I will get from that transaction. Then all we have to do is click buy ADA. It will say success. So now that order has been placed in our order books and like I said, it will execute as soon as those conditions are met, if they're met. Uh, so if you go back to your trading tab, you can see your order management screen. You have, or I have three open orders. If at any time you want to cancel, just come over here, click on that, and then you'll have the ability to cancel it. So yeah, fairly straightforward, you guys. Uh, real quick before you go, be sure that, you know, once you've executed your orders, get that crypto off of the exchanges. It's nice to be able to set these limit orders, but I only ever keep enough on the exchange to do the orders that I want. Once they've executed, I take that crypto off and I put it in my own control. Uh, too many chances for something to just go crazy, as we're seeing with FTX currently. You really never know what's going to go on. For me, I feel really comfortable having my crypto on a future-proof chain like Cardano. It's why I buy Cardano, uh, and I much prefer to keep it in my own wallet where it's safe, where I can delegate it to a single stake pool operator. So be sure to take care of yourself, you guys. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one.